Hey guys, so today I want to check out the new thing here you can do inside of iOS 8 here on the iPhone 5s uh, and it's basically a way where you will be able to edit widgets. So if you can recall something new that Apple unveiled in uh, iOS 8 was widgets, uh, the third party developers will be able to add their own widgets when iOS 8 gets out. So right now what you can do is you can go into today here and you can go down and you see a new edit page uh, if you tap on it you will be able to edit exactly how it looks uh, your today page so if you don't care about stocks and stuff i think you all have been able to do some of these things uh, but then you have to go into settings this is a little bit more fun uh, because you can see like do not include and in the future uh, we're probably going to see a ton of different other like third party cool widgets and stuff like that and uh, that's going to be included here so that's going to be pretty awesome let's see here i wonder if you can hold on so you can kind of see today's summary you can basically remove everything here and then you only see the dates and also weather information here by yahoo sweet so let's see here. So you can't add that much more, you know, right now. Let's add the calendar. Let's be a little bit clean like so. Um, and then also another little thing here that you might notice in Notification Center is that in, um, in the um, iOS 7 kind of looks like this. You have the uh, today and then you have all and then you have missed. Now you will have today and notifications instead of today all missed. Uh, so a little bit better, because a little bit easier to understand because the, the other one was a little bit confusing where you had missed stuff. It was just like, yeah. But you have notifications here and you can see the new bug reporter here. Create a new bug report. So, I mean, you can just create new bug reports and stuff like that. Then you send to Apple, uh, pretty basic and simple stuff. Uh, but yeah, you just wanted to go over that in a quick little video. Hopefully you did enjoy. And yeah, if you want to get iOS 8 beta, you need to like register your UDID and have a link in the uh, You can do that. So yeah, quick look.